There are over 200 tips I can give you in one go. But too much info can often make your brain explode. So for now, here are the 10 most important tips you need to know and learn ASAP. Number 1. The importance of painkillers. Painkillers are lifesavers, literally. Quite possibly the most important survival item for raids. When you get shot in the legs, they can break. If they break, you cannot run, which makes you become a sitting duck. Using painkillers ignore the pain from having a broken leg, allowing you to run away from danger. Always bring painkillers to raids and use them regularly, especially before you enter hot zones. I use them right after I spawn actually, when they're about to run out, before I run out in areas where there's minimal cover, and most of all, when I'm heading towards the extract zone. Because often, there are people waiting for you with the extract like filthy rats. You want to be prepared for an ambush and need to be able to stay mobile if you ever get hit. Number 2. Bullets are just as important as guns. In fact, I'd be willing to say bullets are more important than guns. Put it this way, building a 200,000 Cohen H416 loadout but only using T3 bullets would be a complete waste of money. I can build a 50,000 Cohen AK74N loadout and use T5 bullets and drop people within 3 to 4 hits, which could actually end up being cheaper. What you want to do is build a gun as cheap as possible and be able to control it. Once you find a cheap build that you can control relatively easily, dump your money on bullets. You'll thank me later. You're not throwing your weapon to deal damage with. It's your bullet that's doing the damage. Number three. Here's a very simple way to save a lot of storage space. As a beginner, trust me, you'll end up hoarding a lot of weapons. I don't blame you though, you'll be unsure what to keep and what to sell. So while you decide, remove the magazines and hand grips from every single weapon to free up a lot of space in your storage. Number 4. Go to the market and favorite some of the most expensive items in the vest and helmet categories. Most T6 are typically over 100k each. The moment you see one drop below 100k, buy it and sell it for a higher price or keep it and use it. Sometimes you'll find someone accidentally forget to add one more zero at the end of the price. Like the time I snapped a 110k AN95 helmet for 11k. Yoink. With all that being said, make sure you check the market for your favorites as often as you can. Number 5. Everything sells. So sell everything. I'm also a big believer of if it's in your storage, it ain't helping you in raids. What I do is sell everything that I don't find myself using a lot of. So when I need something, I'll have the money to buy it. Number 5.5. Subscribe with notifications on because this video is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the best guides for arena breakout. I have the best weapon builds, how to win gunfights, map guides, how to get rich guides and more. When I drop those guides, you definitely don't want to miss them. Also, drop a like to increase your luck in arena breakout by plus 10. Thanks, mate. Number 6. Always watch the kill cam. This is one of the best features in the game. It shows you how you got killed, how the enemy was moving, where they were hiding, what angle they were holding, how they ended up seeing you, the whole shebang. It's actually pretty accurate too. You can learn a lot of things to help improve your gameplay here. Just put your anger aside and really analyze what went down and figure out how you can do better next time. This is a literal cheat sheet. Use it. Number 7. You can shoot through wooden doors in Arena Breakout, so try not to stand directly behind them, especially when opening them. Walk up to the door, tap open, then move to the side. Only wooden doors can be wall banged though. This goes the same for windows. Don't just stand in the middle of them. This is one sure way to get lasered very easily. Number 8. There are plenty of places you can find expensive and rare loot from. You can literally loot the most expensive items in the most random places. Look at this 400,000 coin teapot chilling on the table over here. Hello. You can also loot individual drawers in these towers. Check every single one of them. Every single time. Jackets are great for small expensive items like keys. Search everywhere. What's good is, the loot spawn points are always the same. It's just the rarity of the item that is luck based. Some spots don't spawn items all the time though, like these red envelopes. Sometimes they have expensive items sitting on top of them, sometimes nothing at all. Basically, learn all the loot spots and you'll be rich in no time. Number 9. Examine items in the market as soon as you get in the game. Literally just sit there for like 15 minutes and just inspect everything. This will save you so much time in raids. You wouldn't ever need to inspect items during raids as you would have already inspected them in the base.
So you can quickly find out if an item is worth picking up or not. I'd suggest starting off with weapon attachments as these are the ones you'll find a lot of. Last but not the least, number 10. Prioritize and complete Evita tasks ASAP. She will make you do a lot, but in the end, she'll give you a big keychain for free. An absolutely invaluable item that will help you get mega rich. These are the top 10 things I wish I knew when I started playing Arena Breakout. If you want more tips, check out this 200 tips and tricks video. Enjoy.